time slot and it's a 10 minute time slot that you have a 10 minute window and then they they basically stagger it so you, you get an hour in the water and that's all you're allowed but you but they're sort of you're blocked in 10 minutes so eight people come in i mean it's a you know, it's a big 50 meter by 30 or 40 pool um you come in you come in you come in one way you're supposed to come change so you just sort of take your t-shirt off and jump shove it in the locker and jump straight in the water and and then afterwards you you follow one route out so it's it's you know it was quite good because they've got the space available they're quite strict about people um warming up and um stopping and everything so if you know too many people are congregating and then you get the lifeguard they were quite good at coming over and telling you to move on and um, how many people are allowed in each lane and that kind of thing so it's not it felt quite safe and quite controlled and so it's quite good we've you know, been back that's good good stuff good stuff i'm i'm going to recommend a, a po- another podcast um but i'm going to tell a bit of a longer story a few weeks ago i watched a documentary on the um sexual abuse scandal in american gymnastics i'm not sure if it's still available on like catch up or somewhere it must be on some sort of streaming service or something um I, and to be honest i can't remember what his name is that's why i'm not recommending that, that documentary specifically but it was good but then off the back of that um and i know it's a new bbc sounds podcast that's come out um about something I'd, I'd never heard of at all before but a sexual abuse abuse scandal within irish swimming that went on for years between the sort of 70s 80s and into the early 90s and the podcast is called um where is george gibney and G- george gibney being the person who's at the center of of this scandal um and it's it's really well produced bbc sounds have, do produce these kind of um investigative journalist podcast really well i i find uh have you listened uh, to the um missing crypto queen yeah i have yeah yeah, yeah, that's that's really well done. Well, did you listen to the um, one about Ruben Hurricane Carter last year? Yes, yeah. This one uses quite a lot of si- very similar music musical cues and very similar style um, to the to that one in in lots of ways. So if you enjoyed that one and the pace of it and the way it was told, you'll in, you'll enjoy this one. Um, I, I would say so. Um, so yeah, where is George Gibney from from BBC Sounds? I think it's uh, it's three episodes in to what I, I think be maybe a six or seven episode or so series. I would I would imagine, but yeah, it's really good. I would recommend it. I think episodes come out on Thursdays, so you've got plenty of time to have listened to your SLP by the time a new new episode of this comes out. Fair enough. Um, next week, uh, Alan's back with me um to talk about the challenge cup games Ah, it's challenge cup even though he can't go to the games we have to have alan in to talk about the challenge cup don't we it's a specialist subject yeah um okay do you want to let people know where they can find the show interact with the show and that sort of stuff tim yep so you can find us on twitter and instagram at super league pod Uh, you can head over to facebook facebook facebook.com forward slash super league pod or if you've got some longer form, some thoughts about what's going on and how you think things are going, then send it to us, superleaguepod at gmail.com. Uh, you can then find us on Google Podcasts, Podcast Addict, Stitcher, Spotify, or anywhere else you would normally find your podcasts. And we're on YouTube in audio-only form as well. Um, partner, Our partners want to give a shout-out. We're going to start this week with Mascot Browns because it's their third birthday this week oh, wow. so happy birthday to mascot browns make sure you head over there to get all of your international rugby league gear of course they're also making a push for the return of the match day program um or not the return they they the i don't know they're, they're doing the match day program that's like innovative innovative and covering the whole sport and that sort of stuff so um yeah look out for that as well on the mascot brown links uh, rob's toy shop enter slp discount or check and check out at rob's toy shop on ebay and get five percent cash back on orders over five pounds plus give one percent cash back to slp little warden vital alerts for hidden issues head to littlewarden.com to see what they can do for you and a big shout out to dom for completing his virtual great north run at the weekend um if you go onto our episode blog 
at superleaguepod.com there'll also be a link there to donate as well as links about our partners there'll be a link to donate to um, his fundraising efforts that Dom from Little Warden does every year uh, and Sarah's bookcase of course last but not least Sarah sells Osborne books with access to over 3,000 titles from baby to young adults there's something for everyone do find out more in particular over on her Facebook page which you'll get a link to in our episode blog po- post as well there's also a Twitter page for Sarah's book page that you should check out and follow. Great stuff. Thanks to all those guys. Uh, and thanks to you, Tim, and all the people who've got Very their right. fan views in this week. Yep. Yeah, no, it's been good. Speak to you soon. Yep. Yeah. Speak to you soon, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye now.